So when Madame Yes and the little girl dog had stopped in for their visit, me and the little girl dog, we, it took us a little while to get reacclimated because she was so pushy at the start. I was so happy to see her. She was so happy to see me. But when everybody was sitting around in the big parlor room, you know, touching each other on the legs and the man and the and the madam yes were giggling and laughing and and the and you know i was even wagging my tail the little girl dog didn't know what to do so she became really pushy and she tried to like push me underneath you know she tried to bark at me and make me go land or you know someplace else she tried to drive me away so she could have all the affection for herself and all the good times camaraderie and I didn't really want to go, and but I did. I walked over into the anterior. It's kind of like an anterior kitchen. It's like the I don't know what you call it when you, when you. It's like a, it's got a nice bar. It's got a sink. It's got everything a little tiny kitchen that would have. But that's where they make the hors d'oeuvres. And if caterers come, that's where they would serve us from. You know, we were taking care of our own service. But the man, he says when he, he walks in there, I was like, I was kind of cowering down inside the an, anterior kitchen situation thing off the big part of the room, and he says, you know. You can't, you can't put up with that crap. That little girl dog, she's in charge because she wants to be. You're a lot bigger. She's pushy. She takes command because she wants to. She's just in her. She's like a fearsome little general. It's okay, but you got to give her a little pushback. And I said, man, you know, I know, but I think, you know, what? she's like a mouthful. I might break her in half if I do something stupid. And the man said, don't do anything stupid. Just push back a little bit. Just stand up for yourself. Believe me. She'll, she doesn't even want to do this stuff. It's just in her nature. Once you push her back a little bit, everything will be nice. Everybody will settle in. And that's what happened. There was a little bit of a row. Madame Yes got a little bit upset with me. You could see she got a little, her eyes widened. But the man, he pretended he wasn't even watching. And he kept sipping his bourbon. And Madame Yes, that's what she did. She followed suit and she was sipping her bourbon. And, you know, everybody calmed down. I didn't really do anything. I kind of like stood up abruptly. The little girl dog didn't like it. She was kind of like ran up to me. It was going to, and I let my tail, I turned around. I let my tail kind of give her a little smack. Just like, almost like Godzilla would come around and give something a big smack, maybe whip King Kong's legs out from under him, or maybe would smack a boulder toward toward Mothra's head if they got into a tiff. But that's what I did. I smacked her with my tail. I kind of turned around, and I made pretend I was looking at something and, you know, kind of drawing her attention. I gave her a quick little smack. And Madam, yes, she noticed it. Her eyes bulged out of her head, but the little girl dog, she calmed down after that. And we had a nice time. And that's just something sometimes you have to do. Sometimes you have to stand up for yourself. Because believe you me, when after I did that, that little girl dog was my little lovey-dovey. And we loved each other. We had such a wonderful time together. It was so amazing. I was the biggest, one, most wonderful day I've had in a long time. And it all started with a, you know, a little Godzilla whip with my tail upside the little girl dog's head. Who would have thought?